So it's the same thing with, you know, what you call the, um, the Congress, the Vice President, the President, everything, or in a company, what you call the manager or the, or the boss. You know, the same problem you go to the manager for, sometimes you go to the, 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 uh, the different managers for different problems or different presidents and so on. So it's the same process. So prayer is really all about you. The minute you wake up, you're praying. Why? Because you appreciate the sun to wake you up. So you just pray to the sun by, by opening your eyes. Prayer begins the moment you, you wake up. Right? Now you're going to breathe, breathe when you wake up. You're going to get out of bed. You're going to go brush your teeth and everything. Water, that's cleanliness. That's a prayer. Cleaning your system is called Ganga Puja. A prayer to the to, to the Lord, the Goddess Kanga. So you wake up in the morning, that's prayer. How you, you, you clean yourself and so on. Okay, so now then you can you go to school, that's a prayer. You go to hug your wife, that's a prayer. You go to hug your husband, that's a prayer. You go to curse them, that's a prayer too. Except it's negative. You abuse your wife, or you slap her, it's a prayer too. So that's prayer. What's the negative prayer? Right? You get up in the morning, you start quarreling, that's a prayer. But it's a negative one. Right? Start criticizing somebody and say they're no good, that's a prayer. Boy, we have such a wrong impression of prayer. We think that we are all so saintly that when we go to the temple and we go to the church, we, oh, we have we, we are going to pray now. We have not done anything wrong. Prayer is every moment in your life. It's a prayer. So that's why you, we say you have to experience life, not just live. If you live, if you just live, you'll curse each other out every day. If you just live, you disrespect each other. If you have a child, it's a prayer. Because that child is an angel. That child has brought all of these things into your life. That happiness in your life. Right? People wait until the, the children turn 15, 16 to want to change that child. Too late. She changed them when they were young when they're small. And if I see a young kid or a young girl, two, three years old, from her behavior I know how the parents behave. Because whatever the kid does is a reflection of what the parents do. So if you think that you're going to just curse someone, curse, uh, insult the person, and then go to pray, and the temple, and you think your prayer is going to work, I have bad news. Not going to work. I always tell people when they come to the altar, or you come to a temple, or an area, you give something. Even if it's a dollar. Why? Because you have given something in exchange for something else. Right? Remember the parable of Jesus Christ and the rich man and the poor man? The guy who gave one, one penny with his heart and the rich man says, oh well, you know, I, I have more money, I, I should get more blessing. No. It's how you give it with your heart. You know? So again, that's prayer. If you give a good guy a uh, a beggar, a dollar in the street to buy food, that's a, that's, a, that's a prayer. But if you give a wino a dollar in the street to buy wine, you've just ruined all your prayers. Knowing he's a wino, of course. Yeah, but, yeah, no. Right, but I said wino, so. So the whole idea is that a wino means wino. Okay. So now, the whole idea is is that who you give, what you give, 
and all these things is what decides your life. Now, if you get the doctor, your money, right? And you keep giving the pharmacy the money for the for the medicine and so on. What's going to create that? What's going to create in your life? Sickness, more sickness, right? It's all has to do with karma. If you eat extra sugar, diabetes. Too much rum will drown you. I mean, it's, it's so it's so logical what prayer is. It's easy, so easy. Why can't you live it? You're living for you are living prayer, right? When you complain, when you're miserable, when you're unhappy, it's because you're not praying. But that doesn't mean praying from the altar. It means you're not being becoming a prayer in your life. You're not experiencing your life. You're not enjoying your life. Appreciate what you have and watch how watch how the prayer comes. For example, every dress that you have, every shirt, every pants that you have is a prayer. Appreciate it. Appreciate that you have that. Some people don't have any. In South Africa and things like that. In Africa and Ethiopia and so on. You're gonna have clothes. Right? So it comes down to this appreciation. Which is why we, we, we give you the the paper. You can the paper. How to how to greet the sun in the morning. That's your first appreciation. First prayer. Here's Linda behind you, Martin. So, it's how, did you get one in the back? Surya Namaskar, one of the first prayers in Hinduism. It's the first prayer in Hinduism that was taught to, to Hindus thousands of years ago. First prayer was Surya Namaskar. That's how old it is, it's thousands of years old. And if you bow to the sun, that means you appreciate your life. That's a prayer. Because you bow to the sun because you want to thank the sun for being alive. Because had the sun not been there, you would not be alive. So that's a, that's a prayer. And prayer doesn't have to be in any, 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 any other language, in your own language, right? The reason why we use Sanskrit in some of these prayers, you should notice the first prayer, O Mitraya Namaha. See that? O Mitraya Namaha means, um, you, O son, you are my friend. That's the first thing you say, right? Okay, Om Ravaya Namaha. This is to appreciate the sun for the air, for the strength that you have and so on. Okay, Om Suryaya Namaha. That means that you appreciate the sun for its light and the seven colors of the rainbow. Okay. Om Kagaya Namaha. For your intelligence. Now. Huh? Okay, but oh, Banai. Om Banami Namaha. I thank you for come rising. That's what that means. I thank you for rising. O Pushne Namaha means I thank you for all the beautiful beauty of the world. Like a flower. Push stands for flower. 
So it means I, stand, I, I, I thank you for all the flowers of the world or flowers of the, of the, of the light. Om Mari Chai Ma means I thank you for life. I thank you for being alive. And, not, and, and, and for not, not dying earlier. Om Savitrayan Ram, I thank you for, for, my, for your devotion. The sun is for devotion. Om Adityayan Ram means you are the God of all gods. Or you are the most powerful light of all. So, as you can see, we begin by appreciating our life by appreciating the sun in the morning first and then everything else. If you do that, there is no way you're going to come back after you come out from outside and you do that prayer to the sun, you're going to come back and curse your wife. Because you wouldn't have to fail to do that. Or curse your husband. Or fight with him. So, so great is appreciating what you have. Very important. Now, if you advise somebody to do something, for example, you, 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 you tell your lover or your, or your sister or your brother or something, do this, and they don't do it, why do you get mad? Seems like you become more mad, more angry than the person who you're advising. Your heart? How are you hurt? You you good. You 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 advise the person. So you're not you're not hurt. You're hurt mentally probably because of your ego. Yes, because you want the person to follow you right now. They don't see it. They don't see it. And why they don't see it? I'd like you to answer the question because that means you, I, get, I know you're, 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 you're thinking. But why do you not see it? Because they don't have the knowledge that you have. Knowledge is a tier level process. One person is down here without that little bit of knowledge and one person is up here without knowledge. So just when, you, when the person doesn't listen to you or the person doesn't take their advice, you can't get angry. Can't get upset. You got. You have to become understanding, and you have to say, "Well, okay. The reason why the person is not following this advice because the person just cannot connect with that advice. The person one doesn't know. They are a different level, and you are a different level, right? You know, we are all students and teachers all the time. Some of us become teachers at some point for our, our husband, our wife." And, and some of them become the student of that husband and wife. Right? When I, when, when, I, when, 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 I, when I want advice, I go to my, I go to Sita. Right? And when she needs advice or coach and she wants to learn something, she'll come to Sita or come to me. So we can't all think that we are teachers all the time. So we are students too. I'm still learning even though I am your teacher. So I never stop learning. Because the universe is the greatest teacher. So don't get mad. Try to understand the person and then understand why the person is not taking the advice. Right? The universe um, is always resistant to ignorance and arrogance and, 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 and darkness. The universe wants to be in the light all the time. So there is, it's always forces you to learn. So it puts you in darkness sometimes just to learn. So the universe is wonderful. You know, it's a great universe to be in the universe. And if you understand that, then that's why we do what we call puja or prayer. Puja is like a ritual to the universe. What do Hindus do? They do a ritual. What does ritual, what does ritual mean? Just appreciation for the universe. 
this is a puja. This is an appreciation for the sun. 